Has the ending of Stranger Things as we know it been teased? Let's find out. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about the ending of Stranger Things Season 5, the ending of the show as we know it, as we may have gotten some details regarding how the show is going to end. Before I get into this thing, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below some predictions you have for the ending of Stranger Things, when do you think the show will actually end up coming out. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel, it means a lot. And check out my Patreon link down below, your support goes a long way over there, you get access to the Discord server, extra content, and more. But without further ado, let's talk Stranger Things 5. So the inspiration of this video comes from an interview David Harbour did with Josh Horowitz on his Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. You guys should go check out that full interview if you haven't. It talks about Gran Turismo, upcoming projects with David Harbour such as Thunderbolts, and notably a little snippet about Stranger Things Season 5. Now we know and love David Harbour as Chief Jim Hopper from Stranger Things. He's my 1A, 1B character. Him and Steve are the top dogs for me. And there was a portion of this interview where Josh Horowitz asked David Harbour what he knew about Stranger Things 5. Had he read any of the scripts? And he had some things to say. David Harbour himself said that before the writer's strike, he was sent some scripts and they were terrific as per usual and that the Duffer Brothers continued to outdo themselves, which is really no surprise. Um, they've done it with every season pretty much, at least in terms of upping the stakes. I prefer season one to season two, but each season they've built out this world more. They've bettered character dynamics and relationships and they've just like he said here, continue to outdo themselves with building the world of Stranger Things. David Harbour then says it's going to be a hell of an undertaking, which makes sense considering it is the final season of this massive Netflix show. And he goes on to say that the set pieces in the season are bigger than anything they've done in the past, which excites me and again, makes sense. At the end of season four, Hawkins is in ruins. The Upside Down is essentially rising up from the ground. So it would only make sense that everything in terms of scale would be the biggest yet in Season 5 is they're going to have to finally take down Vecna, defeat the Upside Down, and we're going to have to get some answers regarding what the Upside Down really is. Obviously, the world of Hawkins and the world of Stranger Things is forever changed, and David Harbour says this in the interview. He's like, after Season 4, obviously, everything is completely different now. It's a new world, and we pick up somewhere. He kind of did this little hint. He's like, somewhere after, you know, the end of Season 4 and we're all on that hill looking out, my guess would be right after, but you never know. I would love it if we picked up right where we left off. Um, that might not work. It might skip ahead like a few hours or maybe a few days or weeks, but I would love if we picked up right where we left off in like Lord of the Rings fashion. <laughs> now, before I mention this next part of the interview, it's worth noting that Stranger Things was originally scheduled to start filming in June of this year, and it was going to shoot for pretty much an entire calendar year into 2024 summer where it would wrap up filming then. Obviously, the writer strike and actor strike are prohibiting the show from filming, and the writers and actors deserve fair pay, so that's more important than anything else right now. However, the show is going to take a long time to film. That's the next point. He then says it's going to be tough since they can't start shooting yet. So there was a report, like I mentioned just now, that from June 2023 to like July of 2024, they were going to be filming, and it looks like that might actually have been true <laughs> because he himself, David Harbour, said it's going to be a very long shoot, making it sound like it's going to be the longest shoot yet because of how big in scale it's all going to be. It's going to take a while to shoot, so who knows when they'll actually get to start filming. That all depends on the strike being resolved and the studios giving the actors and writers what they deserve. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a lot longer till the strike's resolved just because they can't reach an agreement. However, whenever they do get to film, I'm sure it'll be worth wait when we see the final product. In this interview, David Harbour says he's excited to wrap it up in a bold and exciting way and that he's really going to swing with this character, which again makes sense because it is the final season. So of course, he's going to go out with a bang, swing for the fences, and give us something we've never seen with Hopper before. This is his last time playing him. He loves playing the character. It's fitting. And there's one little snippet from this interview that I loved. It's where David Harbour says that he knows, and we all should know, that the Duffer Brothers are going to pay off these characters in a big way, specifically the OG characters. And he listed off, I believe, Hopper, Joyce, Eleven, Mike, and Will. Obviously, they're all going to have great endings. Now, some people have messaged me or commented saying, so does that confirm that all those characters he listed are going to live? And I'm like, absolutely not. Just because of the way he phrased that doesn't mean they're going to live. One of those characters could sacrifice themselves and it would still be a satisfying ending to their character. For example, Joyce sacrificing herself for Will or Jonathan. Something along those lines wouldn't be too outlandish and it would still be satisfying. It might not be the happiest ending, but it can still be satisfying with a sadness of losing a character. So I, uh, I don't think that remotely confirmed that all the characters he listed are going to be safe or not. I think we're going to get a big character death and we just have to wait and see who that is. More evidence as to why I think we are going to get 
a death of a major character is the final point in this video, which is that David Harbour says he hasn't read the final script, but he knows the ending of the show. And he said if he had to pick one word to describe it, moving. Very, very moving, he says. Now, I would hope that the ending of Stranger Things would emotionally move us all, but the fact that he said it's going to be very, very moving, and then earlier in the interview he's like, oh, it's I'm taking a swing with the character, it's bold, it's exciting. I won't be too surprised if Hopper bites the dust. He was brought back for a reason. His reason could be to save everybody and fully eliminate the Upside Down. I also wouldn't be surprised if this involves, you know, this big emotional send-off to Eleven's character. Someone's going to go. It's, it's a big show. Someone usually bites the dust in a series finale or in the final episodes of a big show like Stranger Things. So I won't be surprised if it does move us all to tears. Um, regardless of if anyone dies or not. This excites me. I mean, hearing one of the actors talk about Stranger Things 5 makes it feel more real, and it's like, okay, this, this, I'm mentally processing it, like, we're actually getting the final season of this show, and each day we get closer and closer. That excites me. However, it is going to be a bit of a longer wait. So these are just Stranger Things 5 scraps. Pretty much going to try and talk about anything I can just because of my love for the show and my excitement for the final season. It's going to be a brutal wait, and I know I continue to say this, but it is. We're going to get through this thing. I'm trying to talk about Stranger Things as much as I can to not only like keep the hype alive and keep the discussions alive with you guys, but just because I love it. It's my favorite show of all time, and I can't wait to see how it does end. Hopefully it is very, very moving, and I don't want every character to die, but I wouldn't be opposed to a few major characters biting the dust if it serves the overall story. Because we saw Guardians 3 go the route of not killing a main character, but it still served the story and made us as the audience feel as though we lost a loved character. If they can do that, I'm all on board, but I trust the Duffer Brothers no matter what, and I think season 5 will indeed be very, very moving and possibly the best season of the entire show. But this was a great little interview David Harbour did uh, promoting Gran Turismo. The Stranger Things tidbit was the highlight for me. He also talked about Thunderbolts. You guys should go check out the full thing on Josh Horowitz, Happy, Sad, Confused. Regardless, I cannot wait for season five. I love David Harbour. And honestly, he's one of those celebrities that I would love to meet at a con one day just because he plays my favorite character on the show, Hopper and Steve. If I could meet Joe Keery and David Harbour, that would be the dream. But let me know your predictions for season five in the comments down below and be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell to help me reach my goal of 85,000 subscribers here on the channel. It'll mean a lot. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, see you guys later.